Uh, uh, my name is Louis Fulian, and I'm the writer and director of The Verbalists, um, uh, a play that's set in, uh, at uh, Suicide Hotline. Um, and uh, it concerns two people who work uh, at this hotline and an unwelcome guest. Uh, and then we just kind of see how the evening plays out. That's, um, yeah, right? That's Pretty about much. It. That's, yeah. Yeah. A lot of talking, uh, Thanks, because it's called The Verbalist, so, <laughs> so, uh, so it's about people who talk well, um, uh, who use words as to hurt each other. Um, uh, yeah, I suppose in a, uh, in a strange way, uh, I'm interested in, um, uh, in institutions that fail to be able. So it's all about an organization that uh, exists to help, um, and they don't actually help anyone. Come on, Brian, get back to the good stuff. Tell me about your impending suicide. Jesus Christ, it's going on what? Two o'clock in the morning, and you're calling to talk, looking for someone to listen. Well, don't be a fan, Brian. Um, by uh, my friend and partner Greg Carbellis, uh, uh, who's worked with me on all my plays, and I asked him to come I mean, and just uh, you know switch on a few lights and move some shit around. You know, uh, we couldn't really afford anything, uh, so it had to be very, very basic and small. Um, well, uh, the main reason was that they were available. <laughs> Make container. It comes from my grandmother and my grandfather. They put their surnames together and created Make and Taylor. The light's made up. It is made up. It is made up. It's, it's made up. 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 It's It's a stage I name. Make and Taylor. 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 That sounds cool. Guys, this is my turn. Make and Taylor. I am the only Rebecca Make and Taylor in the world. No, that's a lot. I graduated from UCT last year. Um, studied for four years. Um, I'm half Afrikaans and half British. And um, <laughs> yeah, um, this is my first year out of drama school. I don't relate to her. Okay, I'm not a bitchy person. Well, not, I don't. I don't swear very easily. I don't swear in my everyday conversation. But since doing this play, I've started swearing a lot more. Uh, I can't help myself. And I've really enjoyed working with Louie and Carl and, and Danny on, on this play. Well, I, my name is Francis. What can I do to help? <laughs> yes. Yes, this conversation is completely confidential. I don't record anything. I don't make notes. I'm really only here to listen. I'm Carl Nell. I'm a, I'm a Afrikaans actor who can sometimes do English. Uh, I studied at the University of the Free State, finished in 2006, and then I moved down to Cape Town in 2008, and been freelancing ever since then. Um, I play Max in Louis' play. Um, Max is an arsehole, um, but for a reason, and uh, there are many reasons behind that which I don't want to get into now. It works like this. Some lonely, depressed, possibly suicidal, phone-wielding maniac dials a number. It gets rooted through the main switchboard on the other side of town, and in a blink of an eye, he's face to face, so to speak, with someone who wants to help the fuck out of him. Just help him to pieces. But uh, basically, I think he's... He's... The situation that Louis creates in his writing um, with these three different people, because if you, if you look at them, Danny's character is quite a sweet girl who just happens to end up here in this situation, whereas Rebecca is trying to do something good in her mind, but Rebecca's character... And you don't get it, do you? We're not supposed to judge. We don't sit here in judgment precisely for the reason that we are valuable. What you're doing is worse than what I'm doing. You don't even try to help anyone. I've heard you on the phone. It's a joke. My character is also trying to do good, but in a different way. In a more of a messed up way. It is hanging yourself from a light fixture. But they don't make light fixtures like they used to. And I'm guessing you don't have a ballroom chandelier to hang from. Same goes for a roof beam. Plus, there's a chance of the rope snapping or the knot getting caught on itself. Both of these ways in the same. 
you on the floor, shocked beyond belief, startled out of your suicidal stupor and back to square one. And another embarrassment, Brian, is not what you need right now. And um, so that's basically what is great about the situation that Louis creates is these three different people that come together and then to see what happens and then it's, it's quite a big explosion. Well, not an explosion, it's just a, it's, 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 it, it creates drama, which is what you want out of the play. I'm Daniela Roden, I'm an actress and I sing in a band called Six Gun Gospel and uh, I play the character of Catherine in Louis Fulham's play. Um, what I like about the play is that um, it, it, it's got only a few characters which is important for making drama in uh, a place where there's not a lot of money to make, <laughs> uh, make theatre and also that it's in one space. Um, I think it's very interesting when, um, when you explore what happens between characters in an intense um, uh, space and an intense time and I think that that's what's great about Louis' play um, is that it, like, it allows for these characters to go in their own separate ways in a very short space and time um, and that's what's interesting to watch because it's all around, you know. And I think it's also, I think the other thing that's great about the play is um, is that my character is the, is the kind of outside element that kind of you know, kind of throws everything a bit off kilter. You, know? you waltz in your attitude on your sleeve, a fuck off expression on your face, acting a cock. How am I? Shitty grief because what? Because I brought some girl into the office? It's pretty stupid, by the way. What? Are you on a date? Are you showing her a good time? You don't know the situation. So, would this just be an ordinary night otherwise? Who knows? But, you know, the addition of my character kind of like, yeah, throws a, throws a like spanner in the works, you know, um, and. Yeah, allows for allows for the chaos of the evening to ensue. So yeah, that's that's what I that was that's my character. That's my and what the fuck are you so pissed about? Do you think showing me your propensity for verbal gymnastics and tip